Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the Featherless Bipeds podcast. I'm Wayne, and this is my pal. Uh, good old Oz. <laughs> and, uh, well, uh, we got a couple topics today. Uh, we are going to talk about some, uh, some weird stuff that, go, that goes on around here, which is uh, what we are currently broadcasting from our terrible tiny town. And there's some weird shit. Yeah, there's some weird shit. Really weird shit. Okay, so uh, I've heard rumors of a ghost at the high school. That's that's fucking weird. And they, I mean, they say that it just like roams around the halls. It's uh, it's a girl. You know. Is it like a night thing or? I don't know. I mean, I've personally never seen it, but I have. All the teachers are like. You know there's a ghost in here. Um, but, yeah, so it just, you know, rolls around. If you're in there, it just comes out and scares you. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> ghosts do. <laughs> you, like, see, you guys tell me. The, the problem with this is it's a bunch of fucking high schoolers. Yeah, right? that's true. Like, it's this one's probably not real. I'm, I'm a believer of ghosts. I don't give a fuck what you believe in. But, like, <laughs> um, it's, it's very unlikely I'd say for this one, but we, we do have more stories, um, supposedly, and more sightings of weird shit around um, my shitty little fucking town. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you got you got any, uh, any other ones? Um, I bet there's a ghost at uh, the waterfront where that kid died from jumping off the bridge. Oh yeah, I um, actually there was there was two of those, um, and yeah, the, at the bridge. Um, whenever I go past there at night, it kind of like, I just get a chill down my fucking spine. It's, I, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's even, uh, there's an engraving down at, what, at the bottom of one of the cliffs and it's, uh, Cameron something. I don't fucking remember his name. I think it was like, it was early two thousands, but, uh, yeah, they carved his name into the rock. I remember, um, like, uh, at an elementary school when I was there, um, there was, uh, uh, like a, a shrine to Slenderman behind one of the dumpster trucks, <laughs> nice. and that shit scared me so bad. <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah, I would have like just pissed myself and run away. Yeah, it's <laughs> well. Like, I mean, no, I don't do no Slenderman <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, no, because I was like so like little, you know, and like I saw that, and like having a general realization of what Slenderman is by like because I'm a gamer, right? Yeah. Um, and then just, like, shitting my pants and never wanted to go back to school. <laughs> um, yeah, so, that happened. Uh, I mean, my house is also supposedly haunted from not only the arson that was committed there, but also the murder. See, the story, as the story goes, this house has changed hands many times, and it's, it's pretty old. It's like, I'd say about, it's a 50-year-old house, and... This one time, so this guy, he owned it, his wife died, and he was a widower for a bit, and then he remarried, and this lady was nuts, like, absolutely off her nut, <laughs> and, uh, so, they say she killed him, I mean, I believe it, because she also was the one who committed the arson, <laughs> <laughs> and, um... She committed it for insurance fraud, and I bet, wow. I'm I'm willing to bet that she committed uh, murder as well for all his money, because she took everything when he died. Wow. And they were, <laughs> she set the bathroom on fire, man, it was insane. <laughs> they had to redo the whole thing, I mean, it looks beautiful now. Like, the bathroom is, we've seen the pictures, it looked really shitty before. And if you take out the ceiling tiles, you can actually still see the burn marks. <laughs> and I'm like, sometimes I think about it, and I'm like, that's probably not that safe to have, like, like charred out framing in your house <laughs> on a bottom floor. <laughs> but I'm like, well, I mean, it still stands, and the bathroom looks gorgeous. It's all rocked out now, and it's, you can't shower in it, though. It's kind of weird. There's, mm -hmm. like, just this big-ass bathtub that's, like, kind of low and so is the shower head it's kind of retarded yeah it's it's pretty weird but i mean i've definitely heard some like freaky shit in there like creaky floorboards like when i'm alone at home 
and like nobody else is there like I definitely hear clatters honestly I'm probably just being paranoid <laughs> it's just my cat <laughs> but uh yeah I mean there's that and well what about the four-eyed fish that lives in the lake um yeah so we were talking about the four-eyed fish earlier before we started up the podcast um there's supposedly I never saw it but my uncle swore he caught it right um for like about like a three year time period people were saying they saw this four eyed rainbow trout um and everyone wanted to catch and release it so they so they could see it as well right um but supposedly it died um I don't know when around it died, but people just started stopped like uh, talking about it. Um, but there, it was it was a local legend for a while. A lot of people and tourists came to our shitty little town to um, check it out, and a lot of people said they saw it and caught it. Um, I thought I saw it once. Um, I didn't catch it, but um, you can see that we have really clear lakes here, and you can see all the way to the bottom. And I swore that fish had four eyes. Um, they said it had two eyes at the front and then two eyes just behind the two <laughs> eyes. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That's that's one of the local legends uh, around here. You got any uh, other weird local myths slash stories? I, I, there was something about the uh, mold crest. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean... Everyone thinks that I fucking mean, place haunted. I haven't been here like too long. I've, <laughs> yeah, I, I moved into town like almost. It's almost. It's coming up on two years now. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I've lived here all my life. Actually, it's it's what June twelfth. Yeah. No, it's Ju- July seventh. Um, yeah. come July twelfth, I will have been here officially for two years. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Time flies. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> and. Uh, Oh man, I haven't spent too much time in the Moldcrest, but I could definitely believe something freaky went on there, because you know, between the crackheads and like the basically homeless people, I mean something shady has to be going down. <laughs> well, did I ever tell you that I got shot at at Moldcrest? Oh dang! Yeah, um, it was. A, what was he packing? A uh, Glock. Nice. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> It was um, it was Crazy Dave, the Russian. Oh my god! Yeah, he had a heart attack like a month later. Fuck! And the police found out that he um, he actually owned a mansion, and he lived what in that guy. shitty place for what some. A guy. So the the police thought he was running away from someone. That's why he had the weapon with him. Oh, but um, nice. yeah, I, I could tell a story about getting shot out of you, if if go you ahead, man. <laughs> um, so basically, I was with my friend, right? And uh, we had this <laughs> this stupid illegal item, and he lost this illegal item in Moldcrest, and he was sure that Crazy Dave stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Dave is such a great name. And of course, Crazy like he's he's a Russian guy, right? Yeah. He, he comes from Russia. He literally like has the stereotypical accent and everything. And so um, we go to confront him about this, and I'm supposed to be the big tough guy, right? Big muscles. I was wearing a muscle shirt and a Punisher hat. You know, I, I was... back Glock in my jeans <laughs> and in my jeans. <laughs> well, okay, no. So he he knocks on the door. I'm standing there with my arms crossed, looking like a fucking tough guy, right? And he opens the door, ass naked, right? And he's like, "What do you want?" <laughs> and I was like, I, I was like, well, my friend wants this item back. I can't say what this item is, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Guidelines. And so, um, he, uh, my friend was like, I know what's in the safe, because we heard word that he put it in the safe earlier, right? And so, This um, man has a safe? <laughs> yes, he has a safe. Oh, he's definitely <laughs> hiding from something. Oh, yeah. And so, he was like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. But as soon as we brought up the word safe... His, his face went red, so we were like, oh yeah, we got this fucker. <laughs> he has the item, right? And so, he was like, okay, I bring you to safe. And he oh, goes and puts fuck. puts on <laughs> some fucking pants, right? And then we hear, do, 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 and we thought it was a safe, right? But then I realized that was 911. Oh, shit. So yeah, he, got, he called 911 on us. But I, we were like, oh, dude, I was like, shit, we should run, right? And then I looked down the hallway, and this shirtless old Russian dude was like, you fucked up. <laughs> and, and I see this Glock pointing at me from all the way down his hallway. And he had a cane sword. What? A Glock and a cane sword. And so he points <laughs> it. <laughs> Who is this man? It's Crazy Dave, dude. 
And so he points it at me, and me and me and like uh, my friend duck behind cover, and we run, right? And we hear bang, 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 and so we run down. Um, there's a slope right next to where he lived, and so we run next to Legion because we thought we'd be safe there. Oh, fuck and that, no my, way. And so I was wearing my favorite hat, right? Um, like I said, my Punisher hat. And my friend was like, "We should go back." And I'm like, "You're insane." Mm -hmm. Um, and so he was like, no, you don't understand. The police are going to be there, so he can't shoot at us. I'm like, but the police can shoot at you. <laughs> and so what he does is he grabs my hat and bolts back to Crazy Dave's place. I was like, <laughs> oh, no, that's my favorite hat. I'm never going to get it back. So I decided to chase him, right? But this police car cuts me off because there's a road in between the um, Legion and the... Um, and the mold crest, yeah. Mold crest. And so I pretend that I, nothing's going on. I was with a girl at the time, was, and we were like, hey, she was like, hey, why don't you come over for supper? And she was like, yeah, because the police didn't know that we were involved in any of this. <laughs> and here, smack, crash, get off me. Ugh. And the police <laughs> runs up the hill, right? Oh, my God. And then everything's quiet. And so um, we wait for like a half an hour at the Legion. Uh, just like, we're like, oh, shit, what the fuck do we do? What the fuck do we do? Right? And my friend comes back wearing my hat. And I'm like, what the hell happened? And then he was like, oh, he didn't have my illegal item. And I was like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's kind of boring. It's like, <laughs> it was oh, like, man, yeah, no, he just he showed, expecting me, more. He, he showed me the safe. And so we start walking home because we were going to eat supper at my place that night. And then I look at him and I'm like, wait a second. So if I, if, if the, um, if... The illegal item wasn't there. Why did his face go red? And he looks at me, dead in the eye, and says, My friend, in that safe was the thickest stack of porn I have <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, shout out to a couple Jesus teenagers Christ. over, uh... <laughs> Over, respect, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> respect. Is he too old to oh, yeah. know that you can literally pack unlimited porn in your pocket? Well, supposedly he had a heart attack a month later, and Dang. apparently he haunts the place. But um, people <laughs> think they poisoned him. Um, whoever was looking for him, or the the police do even, because he was living in this shit hole when he owned this ginormous mansion. Yeah. So someone caught up to him eventually. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Wow. I bet he was some crazy Russian oligarch. <laughs> <laughs> Did Maybe. he own a house in Canada? Uh, yeah. Uh, it was probably just his vacation home. Yeah. I mean, like, but why would he even, like, live in there then? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a mystery. I kind of want to see Crazy Dave's ghost, but um, we do have to keep referring to it as Moldcrest, because to refer to it as its real name, would technically be admitting to trespassing. Um, <laughs> yes. So, um... <laughs> I, um... <laughs> I've definitely, uh, been in Moldcrest for no reason as crazy as yours, but, um, I was with a friend, and we were hanging out in the laundry room, and, like, basically to go anywhere other than the, in quotations, parking lot, is illegal and the police will either give you a warning or arrest you if you've been there on multiple offenses. Yeah. So I'm sitting here and he everyone who lives in Moldcrest is it's it's the slums of our town, basically. And it's where you get ever it's where everyone gets their drugs, right? And um my friend is also a seller. And so he's like, okay. I gotta go get some product for my guy. I'll be back in like 10 minutes, tops. So 15 minutes goes by, and I'm sitting here, and the police pull up two squad cars right in front of the laundry room. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, they're, they're not here for me, 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 and I'm like, oh shit, they're here for him. <laughs> like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. And I'm there, and I'm like, please don't come into the laundry room, please don't see me, please don't see me. And I just quietly, I was playing some music too, it wasn't too loud, but I just reached over, turned off my speaker, put it in my bag, and I just looked out the window, 
and they didn't even see me. <laughs> they went straight past the door. It's not even a door. It's just a threshold. They go straight past, through, and I guess what was happening is my friend had already dipped. He had already gotten the stuff from his uh, his supplier, and he just left me there, and they were only there for his daily checkup. And I was like, holy shit, man. I can't believe you did that to me. And so what? I had to wait like five minutes till they were already... His cellar lives on like the third floor of a building that's like... There's like five different buildings. Three of them are shut down, I think. And then two are still livable. Right. And I have to wait for like them five minutes for them to walk past me. And finally, I have to sneak out past two squad cars... <laughs> just to get out of there and act like nothing ever happened. That's retarded. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know before that he got out, so I was like freaking the fuck out. And I was like I texted him like, "Bro, did you make it out of there? Are you good?" <laughs> and he didn't answer me yeah. for like a couple days and I'm like, "Dude, you cannot do that to me ever again." Right, I was like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> I don't really go in there often anymore. I mean, a lot of the people I hang out with are either sellers or frequent buyers from people who happen to live in this uh, certain apartment. Right. And uh, so I usually just now, now I wait out on the sidewalk. (laughs) So when the police pull up, they don't catch me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably a good idea. Did you did you know there was like a shrine to Danny DeVito in the laundry room? No. Oh my god, really? Yeah. I'm tempted to see it, but I don't think I will ever go into that laundry room again. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. That's terrifying. Yeah. It's that's arguably just as scary as my story. I mean. I don't think my heart's ever raced that much. Oh, being, yeah. Like, just hearing the bang and like checking my body to see if there's any holes in it. Uh oh. Yeah. Um, luckily, he's a terrible shot. And <laughs> he one he put into drunk. the wall, and the other he put into his roof. <laughs> see, he'd probably be a better shot if he had some post nut clarity. Yeah. <laughs> post nut. There's a science to it. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Even my sister says so. Yes, your your sister does say so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, what else do we have? Um, anything in town, like, news-wise that's going on? Not much right now, no. Uh, well, there is something. I'll, I'll give the village some free advertising right here. For anybody who knows where we are currently broadcasting from and uh, also lives here, the village is currently doing a... Uh, $200 total prize cash for uh, local spending. I think it, I think it's almost done though, so every time you spend $5 or more you get to put your name uh, on a slip of paper and stick it in a bucket at one of the local places and eventually you can sometimes win like uh, I don't know, maybe like a $25 gift card to that certain place. It adds up to 200 but they're very sneaky about their advertising and kind of make it sound like you get 200 for every store. Right. And I'm like, oh my god. I mean, you need to be of age to gamble. Yes, that, of right? course. Um, yeah. That's why I usually just, like, I don't even do it. <laughs> yeah. Just some free advertising for the village. You guys are welcome. No need to thank us. <laughs> yeah. Us and our zero viewers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so far, I'm, uh, we're yeah. going to advertise. We're going to advertise. Oh, man. Uh, Uh, Anything else we want to talk about? Hmm. I kind of busted my big nut with that that big old story. Yeah, kind of. That was, like, it's going to be really hard to talk that now. Yeah. Um, Yeah, That's that's probably one of my best stories, like, some of my cage fighting stories or, like, um, any of that shit. But I I want to save that for for another day, you know? Oh... What what are the what are the topics do we do, do we have to cover? Uh, oh, cover. check. Where the hell did my phone go? Spirituality, sexuality, cover. Um, I don't know. Oh, I've got a question for you. What is the worst movie you've ever seen? Oh, including Terrible Hands Eye. <laughs> <laughs> because those get bad. Yeah, I mean, like there was this. Uh, I don't know. 
don't, <laughs> I don't know. What I feel you? like you're just a euphoria. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Well, what's what's the worst movie you've ever seen? Oh man, that's a that's a tough one. I've seen some really terrible movies. <laughs> uh, like like some of some of those like Bollywood movies I've seen. They're pretty bad. Oh man, like anything oh, non Hollywood. Oh, the- the Sharknado is pretty oh, bad. Sharkna- all the Sharknados oh, like, are like, terrible, but I have like a strange fascination with them because <laughs> I, can, I can still watch them even though they're so, so much like they're just all garbage. Yeah, they're just straight garbage. Like they don't even make sense. No. And there's like eight of them. It's insane. Like, and uh, oh man, but I'd have to say it was an animated short. Um, do you remember the Glob Glow Gab Galab? Yes. It's that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up real quick. I'll get okay. the name. Uh, I remember like my uh, my friend. Um, he always just quotes it randomly when we're like playing video games or like doing anything. <laughs> All he does is play video games. Um, he's actually our, is it the um, J Man? He, he's our editor. Yeah, it's the J Man. Uh, <laughs> Ah, yeah. oh, here he, it he is. You can quote the entire thing. It's crazy. Yeah, it's Strawinsky and the Mystery House. Go and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you'll want to bleach your eyeballs afterwards. It's a hundred percent worth it. Yeah, no, it's. Perfect. Oh, I actually. How do you how do you spell that? Um, Strawinsky. Yeah. Or uh, both. Oh man. Okay, one sec. Just because I I wouldn't know how to spell that. It's like straw, as in. You know, the only way to spell straw in, and just Insky and the Mysterious House. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to this and you don't know how to spell, go to school again. <laughs> 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 yeah, not my problem, guys. Yeah. It's because you're ja- just because you're Jared and you don't know how to read, it's not my problem. Oh yeah. My yep. Um,. Oh, what else? I mean, I mean, those some of those animated shorts are fucking oh, terrible. Oh man, um, Joshua in the Promised Land. What the fuck is Joshua <laughs> in the Promised Land? It is like it's basically Prince of Egypt a ripoff, and it's um, it's I think it's made by the same guys who made Stravinsky and <laughs> the Mysterious House or the House of Mystery. I don't. There, there was um, some bad. Mo- it was by the same director as Sharknado, and it was like ah, it was it spiders in a volcano. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was. It was <laughs> look at that. Like, like, look at those thumbnails, oh, man. Yes. You can tell it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, sorry for visual. It kind of looks like a lion, but if it was a furry and it was all smooth plastic, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the best. <laughs> that's the best description I could give it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's pretty um, good. It has a rating of two point two stars on IMDb. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's oh, surprising. Hey, this this kind of makes sense. It's it's even directed by a guy named Jim Lyon. Jim Lyon. Oh yeah, look at those human teeth on that lion oh, face. Oh my god, yummy. That is beautiful. That's I'm so appetizing. It makes me very hungry. Okay, here's the <laughs> here's the description. Young Joshua Carter has a visit from a guardian angel who takes him on an adventure into the heart of the Old Testament, where he lives out the life of the real Joshua. Um, from uh, the crossing of the Red Sea through the wilderness and into the Promised Land. Oh, man. <laughs> but, yeah, I watched it with some friends. And uh, um, if you do watch it, there's uh, the best quote in the entire movie is uh Moses. Um and uh he's like No No <laughs> And he like <laughs> he just Oh that's cursed. Um <laughs> Lane's girlfriend uh is also here with us but she's not currently uh actively participating. But she did just show me a cursed Kung Fu panda and it looks very similar to what I described it's, earlier with the lion. It's, it's, it's the little panda fighter. Go watch it. Yeah, it looks like Kung Fu Panda, but plastic. Plastic, and it's all smooth. Yeah, and he has human teeth, of course. Oh, and yeah, like any good uh, animation studio. Yep. I just love oh. love ripoffs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, little panda fighter. Oh come, man, come take me, baby. He even <laughs> has like a little purple headband that literally <laughs> goes into his ears. Yep. 
That's just clipping all over the place. <laughs> and that, that's just, that's not even, like, the movie. That's just, like, the, the cover art. Yeah. Okay. Um, how about, what's the worst video game you've ever played? I've played a lot of bad video games. Like, those I'd old say PS2. The most visually disturbing. The most visually disturbing. Um, As in, like, kind of like Joshua in the Promised Land or uh, Strawinsky and the Mysterious House. Like, terrible animation, and it, like, it just gives you chills. Um, I used to play this Jimmy Neutron game. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Neutron by himself is already super cursed, man. I get, the pe- I get that he's totally a meme, but, like, oh, his it was is so fucked up. It was, like, this PS2 game. Um, and he was, like, of course, all plastic, and his eyes bulged out of his head. <laughs> Are you going to finish that croissant? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you shot like you shot like these lasers. Oh my god! Um, and like there was just way too many fart jokes. <laughs> Even though like that wasn't a part of Jimmy Neutron. I know. <laughs> and I and I think uh. they got sued for it because there was like there wasn't many. It was actually like, a really rare video game. Oh wow! Um, yeah, because I think they got sued because they didn't have the rights to Jimmy Neutron, <laughs> <laughs> so they could only make a couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, like. What's what's your favorite video game of all time? Oh, oh man, um, whew, that's really hard. I'd say, oh no, it's not. It's Diablo three all the way. I'm yeah. a diehard. Anything Blizzard Games puts out, I will just eat up. I know they. <laughs> I know everybody hates Blizzard <laughs> because you know they suck. Um, as, uh, you know, customer service in general and, like, their whole company face. Yeah. And now they literally are just Chinese puppets. Um, <laughs> come on. Everybody knows it. Yeah. <laughs> but I do really love Diablo 3. It's one of my favorite, like, dungeon crawler games to ever exist. And the story is amazing. I'm... A really, I'm a sucker for anything like uh, sort of Christian mythology that yeah. like ah, I love it so much and uh, yeah it's just a great dungeon crawler I mean it's hard to find a good game uh, these days yeah. that isn't like just a studio pandering to the audience <laughs> and I feel like well, it's I personally foresee a very large crash in AAA studios soon, because mm-hmm. I mean things are just it's it's getting too good, man. Yeah, it's just like everything else, ups and downs. I uh, my I have two favorite video games that and they cannot beat each other, and they're both from like the PS2 era, except one of them got a remaster mm. um, quite recently. Um, one's Shadow of the Colossus. And the other one is um, Metal Gear Solid 3. Ooh. Okay. Um, okay. Two perfect games. I would. There's not a flaw in either. I mean, the controls for both <laughs> well, of them Well, I mean, it's PS2. Shit. Come on. Yeah, no. It's like, I, I don't think they could get any worse um, <laughs> <laughs> for both of them. I mean, like, for God's sakes, like, on PlayStation, right? Triangle being the jump button is just nuts. What do you mean? I love it. I hate it. <laughs> what would you rather do the jump button? X? Yeah, but... Well, okay, fine. Yeah. If you're playing, like, a shooting game, I feel that. But, like, any other game... No. Okay, whatever. Um, what's, what's, what's your favorite movie? I do not have a favorite movie, mostly because I don't really watch movies. And most of the movies I watch these days are, like, anime movies, to be honest. Right. But honestly, well, actually, no. I do have a favorite movie, and you guys don't shit on me because it's anime. It's beautiful and sad, and I love it, and I almost cry every single time. So fuck you. It's, it's kind of like your life, beautiful and sad. Thank you, Lane. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. It's a little bit of both. Um, All right. I um, think it's. Wait, I didn't even say it, man. Okay. <laughs> uh, it is called A Silent Voice. Go check it out on uh, Netflix amazing movie uh, I I mean well if you're any of Lane's friends I don't really foresee any of you being anime buffs but you know for any who are go ahead man 
It's awesome. Um, my favorite movie, and this I think should go for everyone. It is. It's kind of slow, but um, it's the it's the gray the notebook. No, it's the gray. Fifty Shades or like just no, the no, gray? It's, it's called the gray. <laughs> okay. Um, it's it's quite the movie. It's about um a suicidal man hunting or that that hunted wolves. Um, was in a plane crash and with like a bunch of other survivors um, and they're being hunted by wolves um, and basically they get picked off one by one and you wonder by the end who survives and who dies is that a Tesla um, globe? It, that is a Tesla globe, I have a Tesla globe That's dope. I can plug it in if you'd like yes please, Okay. thank you um, it's, it's retardedly powerful when plugged into my computer because I did something <laughs> wrong with the wiring there <laughs> so um, just if you want to like touch it or anything um but Does no i no only if you touch like metal and it at the same time because <laughs> <laughs> that's not how it works i i don't want to get like dead. You, you can even hear it and my fingers are like tingling um anyways um Back on track with the uh, the the gray. Um, you can find it on Amazon Prime, I think. Um, if you want to watch it, it's like three dollars. Um, I would really recommend it. It's such a beautiful movie, set in like a snowy Alaskan forest. Um, nice. Uh, yeah, it's it has poetry. It's beautiful. Mm, I uh, <coughs> um, uh, we should start a uh petition to name Alaska Canada but a little bit to the left. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely because that's basically what it is. It's just on. an unassociated Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I mean My friend it went was to... just sold, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, no. And I mean they're basically Canadians anyway. Well my my friend went to Alaska once and he was he said it was just like Canada but everyone's slightly angrier. <laughs> so sounds Sounds like Vermont, honestly. Yeah, n not to like diss any Alaska. It, it might have just been like the area that I mean, he was in. Everyone just seemed like, like pissed respect off. for you guys living up there, right. and also putting up with that much shitty weather. <laughs> yeah, like that's got to be rough. Yeah, yeah. And um, you ever seen that video of that like girl that lives in Alaska and like it's daytime at nighttime all the time? Yeah, land of the midnight sun. I yeah. was gonna go to the Yukon and I was gonna see that because it was May. But no, stupid disease. Yeah, um, man, I was planning on going to like uh, Scotland sometime, um, but of course COVID stopped everything. Oh, how about we talk about um, all the protests that are going on in the states right now? Oh Not my god, riots, protests like Gandhi. No, they're definitely violent sometimes. <laughs> well, <laughs> Gandhi was definitely a pacifist, and I so were his followers. I feel like Ga if, if the Americans, um, to generalize, um, if the Americans um, all uh, respected Gandhi's views and um, did that way, the, the protests would be over by now and the government would have yeah. smartened up. And honestly, <sighs> how long has it been since that started? What, two weeks? Have you seen anything on the news? Not yep. much. I, I'm trying to stay away from the American stuff. I'm trying to worry about my own country right now. Fair enough. I can respect that. But no. I haven't seen... I check CNN every once in a while to see what garbage is going on down there. Yeah. You know, down in South Canada. <laughs> and uh, nothing. I haven't seen anything. And that's... Almost I, alarming. I only recognize any, like... If the media actually cares about something, they'll put it on for more than two weeks. It happened with COVID-19, didn't happen with 11 but <laughs> I mean, that's probably only because the government paid them. Uh, because, I mean, the only reason... Um, uh, 9-11 was such a big thing was because it was used to justify destructive capitalism and um, you know so the FBI can wiretap your house um hey man Bush did it <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that shit was planned man. I don't think I agree with you I think it's just a terrorist that freaking 
but I think they definitely took the opportunity well, yeah. to use that as a scare tactic to do a lot of stuff that they already wanted to do. Well, and yeah, I, that, that I, I could agree with. Like, the, the government gets yeah. something, they're going to take it no matter how horrid it there is. There was legitimately, like, this is a verbatim thing that, okay, it's a little bit paraphrasing because I don't remember the quote word for word, but this is from an ex, uh, I think it was either the CIA or the FBI's director, and he was like, ask the American public if uh, they're okay with us wiretapping their houses, and they'll say no. But ask the American public if um, they want services to help them find missing children, and they'll say yes. Mm. But then I saw an amazing reply. It was a, it was a Tumblr post. I did check the sources. It was legit. Um, and it was like, that's kind of like asking um, the American public and they say, yo, I want more fiber in my diet. And then putting sawdust in their cereal. <laughs> <laughs> and then saying, well, you wanted more fiber in your diet. Here you go. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and that's one of my all-time favorite <laughs> comparisons. That is a pretty good fucking comparison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, I don't... The, the American government is really, really iffy. No one knows what to think. Some people can, yeah. like, support them one day and then completely yeah. go against them the other day. But, I mean, that's not to say that the Canadian government hasn't done some really heinous shit, man. Well, yeah, no, it's... People like to pretend that our government's, like, all goody-two-shoes, but, you know, as of 2019, we were the number one seller in the world of military-grade sniper rifles, a lot of which were used to kill children in Yemen. Wow! Because you know who we supply weapons to? The states. <laughs> and you know who drops bombs on Yemen children? The states. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's... I mean, I feel bad for Yemen because, I mean, they're fucked. Yeah, it's it's really hard. Yeah. For and other like. countries going against. Like, between that and us basically inadvertently supporting Saudi Arabia. Yeah. In also killing Yemen children, you know, everybody, everybody likes to have a it's piece like of killing Jews. Yemen children. <laughs> it's you know? like, yeah, it's it's like the Jews throughout literally all of history. Yeah, you know, pretty much how everyone like, hated them. Yeah, and it's not even their fault. I mean, no, it's not. They, they were literally only allowed to be money lenders. Yeah, if people let them be other things, I doubt a lot of stuff would ha wouldn't have happened. Yeah, like, it's, seriously, it's really sad how yeah. the Jewish people were treated. Um, shout out to Jewish people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, there's even like subsections of Jewish people who yeah. also don't like each other. <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you start killing us, we have to start killing each other. <laughs> Just relax. We get first dibs. It's like trying to kill a suicidal little girl. Wow. That took a turn for the dark. Uh, it has to. It already was dark. Yeah, but like... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Jews killing each other is not quite as bad as, you know, killing a suicidal little girl. I mean... Or attempting to. Yeah. But, in other news, um, what other topics do we have? Oh, the band. The band? Yes. Uh, my band? Yes. Uh, yeah, the uh, Hostage Takeover. Um, we're taking a break right now, but I do have a band. Um... We're pretty garbage. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we we practiced like a few things um, throughout, you know, the last little bit. But uh, yeah, it's uh, we're, we're basically just like a punk rock. Um, we we have this thing where um, we're all hostages, basically being forced to play music against their will. Um, but yeah, that's I got a band. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about trying to learn the trumpet. Yeah, so. to join my band. Yeah, we, we do so. need like we'll be like a trumpet rock band. Well, uh, that does have a name. 
actually. Is it? What is it? It's called SCA. SCA? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what it stands for. It's an acronym, just like any other three acronym. Right. Three, like, rhythm and blues. I kind of like that. Rhythm and poetry, which is actually... Everybody thinks rap is, like, this weird name that people came up for rap. No, it's, like, it's a legit acronym. Rhythm and poetry. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, well, it's what it is. Oh, you learn something new every day. Um... Fun fact, um, our band was actually supposed to be called The Featherless Bipeds. Yes. But we changed it to Hostage Takeover because we knew we could do more for that. And then we made this podcast, um, which is The Featherless Bipeds podcast because we needed to do something with that cool last name. Yeah. Um, Behold, a man. (laughs) It it is a man. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I hope you guys enjoy our... uh our background picture that was uh, drawn by our uh, good friend and artist, um, the J Man. Yeah, which <laughs> that 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 is technically a featherless biped along with a human. That's that's what that's the yeah. joke. Because uh, yeah, yeah, good old die jeans. Yeah, we we're, we're both featherless bipeds. We're a lot like chickens. Yeah, you I know? mean, uh, pretty much. Yeah. So, um, not gonna lie, I kind of have to take piss. So, how about? We uh, we put on our waiting music, and uh, yeah, okay. I just realized we can't go pee at the same time. No. Nope. So um, <laughs> <laughs> keep them company while I'm gone. Gotcha. Ugh. Don't tell them anything too embarrassing about them. I won't. Please. I won't. He peed his pants in sixth grade. Um, he's. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being scammed here? He's a terrible friend. Um, the worst, actually. I don't think I've ever been more appalled at the sight of someone. Um, in other news, I have a mullet now. Um, so that's fun. I just, I just decided to do it. I couldn't help myself so I, I look like I'm actually part of like an 80s punk rock band now um to those of you who um personally know me uh <laughs> it's 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 kind of beautiful but I kind of like I I am one of the only people in the world who will ever rock a mullet don't at me it's kind of true though it it definitely is Th- thank you um Leo. Just, just waiting for my co-host to get back here. This might all get cut out. It probably will. Yeah. So, well, we we will decide if we keep this all in because it's it's not much of a podcast with uh, one person. One person. And technically, there's two, but I don't think I count. Oh, hey, Orlando. Yeah. In other news, my bearded dragon's sitting with us. Oh, yeah. Got anything to say? <laughs> he absolutely has nothing to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was the piss? Um, it was it's pretty good. You know, um your toilet bowl is really full. So, it's hard to get onto the sides and not make too much noise and like <laughs> splash it everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, That's beautiful. You know, Beautiful, I say. And your toilet's also, like, really low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a little strange. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's like one of those anti-clog, really full toilets, because I take massive, huge shits. But doesn't it, like, you know, um, displacement? <laughs> Have you ever taken such a big shit that, like, <laughs> it's almost to the top? And I feel like it's, like, when you drop one in there, it, like splashes up on your balls like that's gotta be a thing <laughs> no, well you see because like, it happens with me all the time not in there but in my own bathroom y- yeah but I mean I don't mind it it's almost like a cleansing wow yeah. that's gross <laughs> <laughs> you tell me come on I don't know why but my water tastes like garlic you want to tip? I'm good um, <laughs> I'll stick to my non garlic water did you reuse that cup yeah, I don't. I don't know why. Ever since I got a cup of water, it's just tasting. Maybe it's your breath. Might be. It's not my breath. 
you brush your teeth this morning? Yes, you did. Oh, good job. See, in addition, I don't know why, but I've uh, developed this habit of I basically never stop chewing gum all day. Wow. And the only time I'm not chewing gum is when I'm drinking coffee. That's that's very hipster. Um, is it, though? Yes. I just like gum, man. I like yeah. I like that minty, fresh flavor. I only buy one gum. And it's only because it's two fifteen, and everything else in the store is two twenty, and I don't want to pay that extra five cents. God, like, everything is fucker. so expensive here. Oh everything. yeah, I mean, we just to get it like shipped here. I, yeah. I get it; it's extra expensive, but like they just put an extra, just like yeah, like, like, it's, uh, like it's crazy. We live in a town where it's not on the way to anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's on the way to absolutely nothing. Yeah, we are the destination. That it like that's we we're the final stop and there's nothing on the way here. For, really, there's no reason to, to ever come go here to ever go here. No, like I, unless you're going to like the the bay, not the bay. That the, it's a sound, but you know I won't get into the intricacies of uh, inland water. Uh, but yeah, the only reason to come here is the sound and mm -hmm. like. Even then, who brings groceries to the sound? Like, yeah, I have some. Some of you may know this. Um, this brand, it's uh, Mr. Brown's Coffee, and that is some godly shit right there. It's canned coffee. Yeah, whatever. Call me hipster. You're the guy with leather shoes. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah. I love it. I would drink it all day. And I just realized that I've been paying for hot coffee for a fucking week when I could... Wait. Nah, never mind. It's more cost effective to actually get 16 ounces of hot coffee than it is to buy all that. Because in Walmart, in the nearest uh, largest town, uh, I can roll up and buy one can for 99 cents but i come here and one can is two fucking 45 cents jesus it's insane like honestly i think that might be that's a more than double markup and i think this i think that guy might just be scamming us i don't know well, maybe yeah, it's obviously. just a mr kim scam it's because he can it's because people are gonna buy it Right? But I'm literally the only person who buys them. I don't think so. I saw some people buying coffee down at the... Really? Yeah. I feel... It al it's always full when I go there. Like, every single time. So weird. So, um... Maybe it's just because none of my friends bought them. Yeah. Shout out to coffee drinkers, I guess. I'm uh, more yeah. of a hot chocolate fan. Ah. I like sweetness. Hot chocolates for... I'm still in the, like, sweet stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. I kind of left that a while ago, mostly because, you know... They're a man job. Something like that. Yeah. It's because my... Or it's more like my... a child man. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, so, like... I feel like people in this town get stereotyped. Way Big more... Time. Big time. Than, um... Other places, I'd say. Because, like, of course, like, there, there's... There's still, like, stereotypes in other places. Well, but, well like, I mean, what about like, T-Town? Everybody hates anyone from T-Town. Yeah, well, we have, like, every, like... We have, like, the golf players. We have the wrestlers. We have, like, oh, the, well, the basketball I mean, players. Everybody collectively hates yeah. anybody here who plays golf because, you know, <laughs> I've never met anybody who played golf and was not a douchebag at the same time. But, uh, yeah. Preston's on the line, okay? Yeah. He's like, I can handle him. But he's still a little bit pretentious. Yeah. Um, Mostly because his grandparents are super rich. Yeah. So, so if we were to like put this town into four categories and give an example of the category. Ooh. Well, are we talking about like all the people or just the kids? All the people. Okay. Old people. <laughs> old people. Old people. Old people make like a, a lot of this town up. Yeah. It also means. Everybody judges you that much more. Yeah, I'd say old people, degenerates. Um, so that encompasses basically anybody from twenty-five to thirteen. Yep. Um, 
Honestly, no. Even the little kids are degenerates. Yeah. Um, that's basically covers like mid twenties to birth. <laughs> uh, and then I'd say stable families, which yeah. there is quite a bit here, mostly because the house prices are so low, which is pretty much the only reason I moved here. <sighs> and finally, tourists. Yeah. Yeah. Old people, degenerates, stable families, and tourists. I guess that makes me a degenerate. Eh? Yeah. But I mean, like, we can all we can all agree we're degenerates here. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm not a degenerate. Lane, you go on drinking benders on weekdays. You're a degenerate. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not fair. <laughs> hey man, if I had access to the resources you did, I would too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. At least rep the degeneracy with pride. <laughs> I do have a mullet. <laughs> that's true. I, that's that's probably an even bigger indicator of degeneracy than, than going on drinking banners. <laughs> it looks like I do cocaine. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Also, like you're from the '80s, you kind of you're kind of giving me uh, the Mighty Ducks vibes. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I feel like 51 minutes of recording. Oh, dang! We're coming up on an hour here. Yep. Well, it's uh, we're not over, but uh, I'd say for our first episode, this is going pretty well. Yeah. Oh man, just going through our text history at like three in the fucking morning. Oh god, that's like my favorite thing. <laughs> I remember I had this this like crazy ex that I didn't ever want to talk to again, but I was looking for a text <laughs> history for fun. And then I just saw like a big pile of nudes. And I'm like yeah. And I did not want to tell her to get rid of it because I never wanted to talk to her again, but I did not want that on my phone. So I didn't know what to do and I couldn't get rid of it because it was in Snap and like it was saved on her end. It's like yeah, no, I saw, I saw, like, I spent, like, a month trying to figure it out, and then she texted me. I was like, hey, so, like, you got... All my nudies, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we both, we both got rid of it. Very civilized, unlike what she was when I dated her. So uncivilized. So uncivilized. You're so yeah. always a bigger fish. Yeah, I'm the biggest fish. <laughs> okay. I genuinely believe that I'm the biggest fish. Who's the bad dude who, like, just lives here? Oh, uh, Timmy? Yeah. What's his deal? I, yeah, I never heard you talk about him. Um, I don't know. He's the biggest guy in town, basically. He's just, like, I'm, he's definitely does steroids. He's, um, part of the fire hall. Really nice guy. Almost got into a fight with him over a bottle. Once, though. I'm honestly not surprised. That was, That's some weird aggro shit that you would pull. Well, no, because I was I was using all the leg equipment at the gym, right? Ah, yes. And he put the bottle his bottle down on the leg equipment. I didn't want to touch it, so I was like, "Hey, dude, you, you left it there." And it was like, well, "I ain't fucking moving it." I'm like, <laughs> so it was just something stupid. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. it, was, it was it was retarded. I think he had like a ride rage or something because he's mad. <laughs> and I was like, "Can you please move your bottle?" And then I moved it, and then he got really mad um and then uh everyone was like dude take it outside take it outside but i was like in the middle of like working out and so i didn't want to go outside to slap his ass <laughs> you better throw hands with timmy timmy <laughs> yeah no honestly i think timmy might kick my ass could be man could yeah. be i don't know but it was just like a little bit of aggro that came out i don't know timmy's a pretty cool guy it was it was just you know a bad day for both of us. Um, I remember you said something about poetry. Poetry. Before, when you were talking about the gray. Yeah. Um, if anybody who uh, listens to this also writes poetry, send that shit in, man. We'll read it. Yeah. I love poetry. Post it in the comments down below. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a like. And to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're already YouTubers. <laughs> oh oh god, I want to die. Yeah, here's uh, 
I follow this dude. I mean, he basically only writes romance poetry, but honestly, I don't mind. Poetry's poetry to me. Well, the um, the poetry from uh, the Gray. Mm -hmm. Um, there's one poem from it. it it's um, once more into the fray. The last good fight I'll ever know. Mm. Live and die this day. Live and die this day. Oh, cool. Yeah, and it's probably my favorite poem alive. Alive. Poems aren't alive. <laughs> um, it's probably my favorite poem ever that I've ever seen. It's just simple, but gets to the point. Um, uh, yes. Leave me wild and free, but love me like you own me. That's... I like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Tears dropping down my face right now. As we speak. Mm. I'm drowning in you, and I only thought I knew how to swim. What? <laughs> <laughs> that one just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's like one of those bots that like randomly generates poetry. Have you ever seen those? <laughs> oh my! Oh, there, uh, there was this. There was this one bot. We'll we'll bring it in sometime and, and read some of its um, shit. You basically you like put in um, like the first like sentence or paragraph or however much you want to do it, and then it writes um, like just like fully formed like paragraphs about what it's about but there's so much and it gets it from the internet but there's so much fan fiction on the internet that it's usually just stupidly sexual <laughs> it's just like every single post is just yeah. very smut <laughs> yeah. every single time yeah no but it's, it's hilarious because like um i was with my pal um the editor julian uh, yes. uh j-dog and um we were at we were just like playing around with it, and uh, he put um, something about destiny. Um, it was Zavala. He was like, "I keep trying to sneak past the vex, but the clap of my ass cheeks keep alerting them." <laughs> and um, yeah, no, Zavala. Um, yeah, and then all of that, and then it he, sounds like a Minecraft meme. Yeah, no, and then um, the uh, the it wrote like as Zavala takes a lick up the seam of his ass cheeks. It, wow! Yeah. This is already <laughs> disturbing. Yeah, no, it's 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 hilarious, I mean, and and it always makes sense. No I've matter what it is, it might it may be like overly sexual, but yeah. it always makes sense. I mean, I've written some questionable stuff, but nothing of that graphic. <laughs> well, well, no, nah, I think I've I've been on par before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who? What else? Oh man, um, it's hard. It's hard being a podcaster. It is. It, <laughs> is. it really is, man. The conversation just, just needs to be like. It just needs to go, you know. Yeah. Um, how do we feel about old people? I hate old people. <laughs> no, For a guy who lives with old people, that's kind of concerning. <laughs> like, you're just going to go ape shit on someone. I do go ape shit. That's like my thing. Oh, hey, a girl texts me. Cool. That's crazy. That hardly she ever happens to you. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Um, and then I'm sitting here. No, know. this time is worth it. Um, so what's Oh, man, I just clicked on it, and now it's seen, so I'm alert. I'm gonna look like I'm thirsty, boy. Uh, I just always answer right away. It's less annoying. That's I, I, true. I hate that. I, know. <laughs> I hate people who like leave text messages. I do appreciate how you like literally every time I text you, you go straight to it, message me within the next five minutes. Yeah, you need to because like that's how people have conversations. I say something, then that other person <laughs> says something. It's not thirsty saying something back to someone. I hate the stinger. The stigma, the stigma behind um, waiting, like waiting, yeah, and all that shit. Because it's stupid. Why not just text someone and then get it over with and actually like have a conversation? It's it's dumb. Yeah, yeah. I talked to this girl who just texted me and um, like in person for a bit. I saw her around town and I hadn't seen her for a while. And usually she's joined to the by the hip with her best friend and you can literally never see them apart but we sort of just sat down and like talked for 20 minutes and then she had to go eat dinner um but it was a good time and i want to spend some time getting to know her better yeah yeah it's lovely. gotta gotta do things the old-fashioned way boys yeah i don't think my like i'm not looking for anything right now. i don't think my love life could get any better 
Uh... <laughs> <laughs> At all. I, mean, I literally do not believe that anyone could prove me wrong. If you're really attacked. <laughs> you shouldn't feel attacked. Oh, man. Oh, um, for our editor, um, I'd like to do a tribute to him uh, real quick uh, for his enjoyment because um, I know how much he likes his ASMR. <laughs> hey, hey, Julian. Hi. Just letting you know we love you, buddy. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so good. you know, if you're wearing headphones, Julian, turn that one up real quick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should probably timestamp it in the description. Yes, we will. <laughs> we'll just put ASMR section. <laughs> well, we are running on an hour now, so and I think we're out of things to talk to for today. It sounds like it. Yep. Um, so, um, well, yeah. uh, is there a set time that we want to do this again? I don't know, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week. I don't care. This was fun. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, 